that, but it is a big risk and, of course, would pose a further threat to the lasting stability and longevity of the Eurozone. Markets took a tumble on Germany's comments as fears that a failure to reach a deal could force Greece out of the single currency. Eurozone finance ministers will meet again on Friday. It's considered to be Greece's last chance to shore up a deal. Let's go to John Sheridan now. He joins us live from Fig Securities in Sydney for more. John, good to have your company on the show. This Greek situation continuing to drag. Um, how have bond markets been reacting to the situation? Good afternoon, Ingrid. Yeah, look, I think markets generally are pricing in no anticipation of, uh, of the Grexit, as it's known. Mm. I think they, they're expecting some kind of deal, but as we've seen, what Greece is looking for and what Germany is willing to concede to are two completely different things at the moment. Is there a timeline, though, for, for when we might see this deal done? Do you think we'll see it done this weekend? Oh, look, I think the Greeks would like to see something done this weekend because they're the ones teetering on the precipice of, of <laughs> bankruptcy, effectively. But it seems like the ECB being pushed by the Germans are, are going to take a very hard line. And, and if, unless Greece capitulates completely, I, I think that the, the ECB will be very pleased to just push them all the way to the edge, which, of course, would mean political uh, mm. suicide for Syriza. So is this having an impact on the broader euro group, the eurozone? Not that we're seeing. I mean, you know, we're seeing uh, really low interest rates around the eurozone. We're seeing the same kind of economic conditions, notwithstanding the recent positive numbers out of Germany, uh, in that, you know, we're, we're seeing low growth and deflationary expectations. So the, the Greek economy is only about 1% of the eurozone. So from an overall economic perspective, it, that, that's not the issue that we might lose, uh, you know, 1% of the, of the GDP of the eurozone. It's more about the political contagion that will follow in those other peripheral countries. Just finally, more broadly, anything else you're watching in the bond market for the weekend? Uh, look, I think what we're seeing more broadly in markets is there, there were three things yesterday that's, that uh, sprung out at me that all happened uh, within a short time, which was the, the buyback from Swiss Re announced of a billion Swiss francs, in, in addition to the uh, purchasing of toll holdings by Japan Post for, uh, I think it was a 47% premium uh, over their current trading price, and the Nikkei also hit 15-year uh, highs. So I think what that tells you is that there's going to be a lot of capital outflow from Japan um, the quantitative easing program there is going to keep, um, keep rates depressed and there's just so much capital to be deployed um, around the world that th there's, no really a, there's not really a good place for it to go and so we're seeing these sort of balance sheet management tools to, to just try and do something with excess capital. All right, well, no doubt we'll check in with you again on this Greek situation uh, <laughs> next week. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks, Ingrid. John Sheridan there from Big Securities.